Welcome back. This is episode 20. 20, 20. 20. We made it to 20. 20. That's two tens. <laughs> twinky, twinky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 20, twin, twin. Yeah, yeah. Now I want some Twinkies. <laughs> Twinkies are gross, by the way. Anyway, hey, go ahead. It's just... Is this super food? It is not. You stop <laughs> it. Anyway. Um, anyway. So, this is episode 20. We're all back again. Um, Two weeks in a row. Watch out. I'm still, I'm still quarantined. Um, waiting on my next test results to come back. Um, He's just like skipping. <laughs> no. But... <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I'm still. I wanted to get back in uh, to the show. I don't. I don't want to miss it. I still want to get this. Keep this running because this is my nerdo, my nerd way. I hate. I, I, I hate. I hate you so much right now. I hate Damn you. It. I was not gonna laugh. Damn it! I hate you. <laughs> no, I don't. Ah, God, man, you son of a, <laughs> you know what, I, moving on, man, damn, okay. let's get nerdy, talk nerdy to me, get nerdy with me, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to begin, I hate you, all right, everyone, <laughs> we're back with more, oh my God, third entertainment news, so, we're gonna start off. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna talk about. Then we're gonna talk about it. So we're gonna talk about <laughs> the Emmys. We're gonna talk about the Emmys. I know the Emmys. Yes. We're gonna talk about. We're also gonna talk about some Comic Con. Ish. Yeah, I know. I posted some stuff, and you probably wanna know. Ish. And you know, I'm gonna give you some HBO Max stuff. So let's get right into it. So speaking of the Emmys, if you haven't known, the Emmys are coming soon. They just did the nominations. And who knew that your favorite king that you love so much, or queen, whatever, uh, Netflix is just killing the competition. As far as nominations are concerned, we don't know if they're winning anything yet. We won't know until later. But they have 160 nominations across the board. I think for, uh, I can't remember exactly what shows per se, but 160. Now I know you're like, but last year HBO was the king. Well, this is the thing. HBO only only had 107. Yeah, I know. So Netflix is totally changing the way TV is done. I mean, like I said last week, it's it, things have changed. Streaming is king and Netflix is up there with that. So what I would like to know is, how do you feel about that? Well, actually, how do you guys feel about that? Do y'all feel like that's a good thing? Is Netflix too powerful? Should somebody check them? I mean, what do y'all think? Um, 160. I mean, I just think it's because of what's going on right now. There's Everybody's leaning towards Netflix. So, like, me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I don't know how many freaking season uh different shows I've already finished freaking binge watching over here. So uh, it's just I think it's just the timing situation or like because of everything that's going on, like everybody's kinda <laughs> gravitating to Netflix or any of the streaming sites. Like Netflix just happens to be leading the way and they kinda got a head start on everybody. Exactly. So, yeah. Well they have tons of originals so yeah and the more getting the emmys and everything else the more stuff they win and the more production they get to make the better it's going to get exactly like i know my favorite one that they put out recently well as of last year was the witcher yeah I mean, that's not the second good. season <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna second what tyler was saying you know with all the pandemic and everything you kind of you're kind of in a situation where that's convenient. You can't really go to the movies. You, you know, you get tired of watching cable. There's Netflix, you know, and it makes it easy to do that. And I think 
you know, with the originals, like you were talking about, I know Umbrella Academy is killing it right now. Like every, I, I've seen a million posts about Umbrella Academy, like, and everybody's excited because the next season's coming up, and it's like, it's already out. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If, I, I, well, there you go, and I wouldn't be surprised if it has a big share of the nominations from the Emmys. I mean, because I'm, I'm telling you, everybody's on the Umbrella Umbrella Academy. I haven't even started watching it yet. I need to, but I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about it. And I mean, there's other series that are like that, and there's other original movies that are like that that they have. Um, there's one I think Charlize Theron is is in one right now. That's like the one that they're pushing. The new uh, order. Called the old guard. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the, the old, old guard. guard. Yeah, dude. Every everybody I heard talk about that said it's really good. My father-in-law, like, called me on the phone. Was like, you need to watch the old guard. Awesome. I haven't watched it yet. I see it on the my yeah, Netflix. Yeah, it, it pops up every time I turn it on. Yeah. So, but that's probably. I mean. I, I'm not going to say it's – I don't think they should be punished for it. I don't think it's oversaturated per se because the stuff is good. So, I mean, HBO, if you're upset, do something about it. <laughs> I mean, that's hmm. – Speaking of HBO, let's get more – let's get into what they're doing. HBO, what they're also doing is that they're – like they're trying to do their – they're trying to build their streaming platform bigger with HBO Max. They've just taken down everything else – that they had uh, HBO Go, and now they're taking down DC Online or DC Universe Online, DC, whatever. They took it down, and now Harley Quinn, uh, Young Justice, and all the others will now be on HBO Max. So if you want to watch that stuff, you have to go over there now. And honestly, I think that's great because everything's in one platform now. I have to, like, get eight different things, and I can watch it, you know. So I like it. I think it's good. And then there is Comic-Con, which I'm not going to talk about because I'm going to save it for later. There's, it's been like Comic-Con was canceled, but then they decided to put it on IGN, and it's a big, big thing. There's like five days of – there's 10 hours per five. You know what? I'm not going to do the math because it's going to hurt my brain because there was so much. I'm still watching it. So if you probably already seen the post – because I posted one yesterday. So you've probably seen the set, that one. And I'm telling you, it's a lot. But take it in. And then that way, once you watch all these, then next week I will give you more. I will let you know about, like you said, the Umbrella Academy, which came out. I will let you know about all the other stuff that Marvel, well, not necessarily Marvel, but what uh, some of these other uh, companies are doing and all the stuff that's been revealed, because a lot of it got revealed in Comic-Con. So with that said, I'm going to end it there on a cliffhanger. <laughs> check me out next week. So that's all I got. Well, cliffhangers always good. Cliffhangers, oh yeah, which I love it. I guess I'll go next because I've, I've already got my stuff right here. Um, so Tech World right now, iPhone 12 is getting delayed. Of course it is. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> but they put out specs on it and everything else. It's going to have a A14 chipset, which is the same CPU chip that's in the MacBooks. Um, it's just going to be a little downgraded so that it you know, works for mobile. Uh, it's going to have OLED display, nice. uh, 3D capable three lens camera, and it's going to be the first 5G iPhone. It's still going to have that stupid freaking notch, though, in the top <laughs> of the screen. Yeah, I, that's the one thing I hate. I don't, I don't understand the notch. Oh, face ID. I absolutely despise that notch. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, I have a phone, and I, I like my phone, but the notch is stupid. I, it's stupid. Well, I'm Android, and I can tell you, it's supposed to be for face ID. That's what I've heard. I don't know, but it that's is. what I heard. It is, but they it's, can. It's all this stuff that they have to have behind the glass so that it works, but. They can do it without it. I'm, I guarantee you they can do it without it. They just kind of – a certain level of laziness that happens at times. I'm just Bring a face you. ID. Like, you could you can put a picture in front of it and it would still I've, do I've it. Yet to, I've yet to have that work. I've yet to have that work. What, with I, the I've seen people say they do it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people say they did it, but I, I've tried it and I've yet to have it work. I've tried to put a picture and it just – my lock flashes. Well, that's it's supposed like, cool. to be why it makes you like – Rotate yeah. your face. Yeah. Yeah. So I can get the dimensions of an actual. Yeah. 
the newer, the newer I think it might be the new the newer technology uh, you know the I guess the first generation face thing was when everybody was doing the pictures so yeah um next there's just a rumor right now rumors around what's going to be called apple glass i'm sure you can go google it i didn't i haven't googled it i just recently heard about it uh but it's supposed to be you know they had the what the google glasses or whatever that was supposed to implement augmented reality Mm -hmm. um apple's making their version of it or they're trying to uh and then i've got some controversial news really so intel really? Is getting sued <coughs> because the seven nanometer chips that they're supposed to have come out the seven na- nanometer uh chipsets for the <clears throat> cpus there was a lady or somebody that invested through like three hundred thousand dollars into the stock and within a day the stock just tanked and that lady that i think it was a lady um but she lost over sixty thousand in a single day out of that three hundred thousand wow and you know it's all free market or whatever so they're like you can't sue them but the thing is supposedly there's supposed to be information out there that intel knew their stock was about to crash and still was charging a premium more than they should have so oh. now um higgins berman law firm is taking up the case mm. so yeah they stand to lose some major money because mm-hmm. uh I dabble a little bit in the stock market, and I know there is, there are certain loopholes and certain rules with that. I mean, you can't, you can't charge, like you said, a premium price or like a price above the amount of the stock in a situation where you, especially if you know that it's going to crash, you're not supposed to be able to do that. It's supposed to be whatever market value is across the board. Mm-hmm. You have to be careful doing that. I mean, it's a risky thing because everybody knows stock market is, risk, is risky. But as a company, if, I feel like if you know something's going on, you just need to, you know, don't do it. You, you know, you know that it's, it's something that can affect numbers. Don't sit there and charge that like that. That's kind of stupid. You, you're setting yourself up for what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. So that's, that is that is big news, though. She She's probably going to make a hefty check. Like Oh, yeah. She'll make way more than what she invested back just in. Yeah, and then um, also on the Apple side, apparently Apple can't get their crap together about uh, the right to repair. So they're having company-wide emails that are getting leaked out um, between HUD honchos and repair people in different parts of the divisions that are like within the the major part of their company they still can't get their stuff together and they're having fights through emails about it hmm. uh and then also on apple side as well apple is, has like we use the ios story make an app um right if you have a subscription based app, they're charging, they're supposed to charge a 30% to the app maker. So like, I know there's a company called float plane, which deals with stuff kind of like YouTube. Um, it was started by a YouTuber. Um, and what it is, it's a content creator, uh, application that allows you to like put your content out there or whatever. But, they allow people to put content out that they want to put out without the threat, the fear of being demonetized. Um, so they have it on Google play store, but they won't go to Apple simply because Apple's charging 30%. And then, you know, they got to charge the 30% and then they got to charge to them. And then that company's got to charge you so much for, 
their subscription or whatever. And by the time that it's said and done, they pay all this overhead. They're not making any money to make the app. So because Apple's charging such a big rate, they nobody wants to put apps out there. Uh, but the thing that's getting them in trouble with this stuff is that the like for Amazon and stuff, they're instead of charging 30% because it's supposed to be across the board of the 30%, they're charging 15 to like Amazon instead of the 30. And people are finding that out. And all this is coming out because of the antitrust mega threads and the antitrust uh, thing that they had, what, two or three days ago? The Congress, Later. yeah. So, <sighs> all this, these major corporations are finally getting in trouble for trying to monopolize yep. the tech market. Doing stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. Play stupid games, get stupid prizes. That's what happens. <laughs> hmm. But that's pretty much what I've heard in the past week. Speaking of games. Speaking of. <laughs> so, as promised, we're going to get a quick rundown. <laughs> just a quick rundown of Google Stadia. Um, I felt like we needed to do it because, I, number one, I promised it. And number two, they are actually adding games to the about to come out. I think the biggest one that is going to hit Stadia coming up is uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, a lot of a lot of folks might not know. I mean, they know Stadia exists, kind of, but you know, there was a big market thing for Stadia, and it was like everywhere. Every time you're on YouTube, you know, there was an ad for Stadia. Like, you see the dude, and he's like, yelling, you know, Stadia, and all the stuff. And then it was like silence. It's like everything just stopped. I stopped seeing any ads. I mean, I'm pretty sure other people experienced the same thing. There was nothing. Well, I did a little research and looked into it. You know, they're, they're trying to crank up again. And they have a tier system now. They have a free version of, of actual Stadia. And they have a paid version. Um, let me back up a little bit. Stadia is basically, it is, it's streaming video games. It's a streaming service is what it is. Pretty much like Netflix, but for video games. Um, you can get the service itself for free. If you get the free version, you have to buy the games. Like you, you, I mean, even with the page, you have to buy them, but there's a different rate. And you buy the games to play them, and there's a free version, and it doesn't have as many features. There's also a paid one where you can pay, I think it's like $9.99 a month. And um, they have a system where they give, you know, a couple of free games away every month, kind of like um, Game Pass. Um, they'll give a couple games away free a month, and then you have uh, special rates for other games that they have on the library that you can play. And, you know, of course, there's no disc. There's none of that. It's just, you know, you stream and you play. Um, you have the option of using PlayStation controller, Xbox controller, or you can buy the Stadia right. controller. They have a controller that you can use that's theirs. Um, to play it on the TV, interesting enough, you have to get the little Chromecast Ultra deal that you plug into ah. the TV, and the app works through it, and then you can play it on the TV. Otherwise, you have to have a PC, a cell phone, something. Um, the Stadia controller is actually pretty dope because it has a deal to clip your smartphone on it so you can just hold the control and the smartphone is right there to the screen and you can play it like kind of in your lap. That's pretty convenient. I, I saw that and I was like, that's, that's kind of dope. Um, I'm still iffy on it. You know, I was going to get kind of see if y'all had an opinion about it because it's, it's been so quiet. You know, for a while I thought it was dead, but uh, you know, what do you guys think? Like, is it still even worth trying to go through with this or I mean okay. well I know that Microsoft uh, they they have a service like that as well when they're or they're trying to get a service where to compete in that field because they were worried about Google um, so I think if that gets off the ground definitely I don't think Stadia will be anything anyone would care about because of the library that Microsoft has and uh, uh, PlayStation actually believes in them or Sony because Sony partners, uh, they're using Microsoft's uh, platform to stream, I think one of their services or something like that because they have the, they have one of the biggest services to stream because it's, you know, it's um, Windows or something like that. So right. I think yep. if that happens, then I don't see Stadia Plus. It's like, 
right now, like, is it based off your internet connection? Like, what if it's laggy yes. or, I mean, I don't know. It's, it, I, I, it's 100% based off of that. And yeah. if you have, like, you know, immaculate freaking internet, you can get 4K 60 frames a second. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi, just do that. It's like, yeah, I can. But if you don't, you're getting basic stuff and you might get, you, you might just lag through everything. I mean, you'll get buffering issues and I mean, I, I watched a demo of a guy playing, and he, he would play a good two minutes and then buffer. And then another two minutes, buffer. And he had fairly decent internet, but it wasn't good enough. So, I mean. It mm. takes, um, most streaming services take a minimum of 20 to 25 gig, or not gig, <clears throat> 20 to 25 meg uh, download to be able to play the games. Like right. And I think Stadia is even a little bit more than that. And I think for sure for like 4K, 60, I mean, because you can do it. They showed some gameplay, 4K, 60 frames a second, streaming. Mm -hmm. But you got to imagine what kind of internet that is, dude. That's like somebody had freaking like fiber, fucking had a thing like right there and hardwired in and ready to go. Like there's, there's no way they were, you know, using Wi Fi or anything. So, yeah, you can't. Yeah. You know, from a tech span standpoint, you can't – something like that, you can't do it wirelessly. It's it's impossible. You're, a wireless connection won't give you enough signal strength to be able to do that, even if you're, like, right next to it. Yeah. Because right. the wireless can only communicate so much. Like an Xbox, and I'm sure it's probably the same for PlayStation, can only do, uh, like, up to 200 or, like, 250 megs right. with – um a wireless connection but like my connection i run wired and i just ran wired into my living room um i went from 171 wireless to like 798 wired jesus so <laughs> it's like a different world that's ridiculous yeah oh uh, but uh yeah, I just, you know, let me know down in the comment section, you know, what you guys think about, you know, Stadia, if you think it's dead, if you think it's going to, you know, re maybe rejuvenated with some of the new titles, because it's getting uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla also. That was the other big title that's going to end up on Stadia um, in September when it releases, I think it is. So there's that. Um, Microsoft has that the news. They have huh? to do something, I mean, because – they right now they have no streaming service. Well, yeah, <laughs> Microsoft is working on what they're calling Project X Cloud. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, right. That's the one. And that's actually getting ready to come out pretty soon. Yeah, and I think you know, if Stadia don't come on with it, I that'll I, it'll destroy it'll destroy Stadia. Like I, Microsoft's kind of on one right now, and yeah, it, that's it could be bad. But as far as news, that's all I had. Um. Game of the week. Something else we're gonna start. Grounded. Myself, Yoshi, Snake have all played Grounded. You need to check it out. I'm not gonna go into extra detail. I don't want to run over, but you need to check it out. Awesome game. Give it some time to grow on you. Let me say that it is beta, um, but for a game that's in beta, it's freaking awesome. Lots of weird insects. It's just think of Honey I Shrunk the Kids, but with a mission and a story. And, and lots of objectives and lots of things to do and creepy ass spiders. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Don't think of that. Just letting y'all know if you do play it, it actually has a warning on the, at the very beginning. If you are arachnophobic, <laughs> you need, yeah. they, have a, they have a setting for you. So <laughs> exactly. If you don't like spiders. If you don't, if you get, if you have that phobia, then you can still play the game without having the, you're just your spider will be look like a little ball, <laughs> a little ball with eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I got. I guess all I got. Like I said, uh, check it out. I'm gonna toss it on over to Mr. Snake <clears throat> for our anime and cartoon news. Oh, well, uh, don't really have too much. Uh, I've been watching. I I finished Food Wars. Uh, I'm finally yes. all the way caught up to the fifth episode, uh, fifth season. Uh, we're just waiting for the next episode. Freaking Food Wars is it's hilarious. Uh, if you have not watched it, you need to watch it. Yeah. It is really, really good. Like, Food they, Wars is extra. 
Yeah, it's, it's what I love about anime. The one thing, one thing I, I love about anime is that they can take anything, anything, just basic, and make it just over the top amazing and interesting. Like, exactly. they made a show just about cooking, and it's so epic. Like, they, they, <laughs> like, they're just all they're doing is cooking food, but every, in the anime world, like everything's just over the top. Like you're just putting seasoning on or reaching for a pot, and it's just like extra anime, <laughs> just <laughs> dicing up super fast, and the aroma is just blowing everybody away and stuff. It's like it's it's you know, like awesome. the, the people take the the bites of the food, like their clothes burst off of them and they're just <laughs> yeah. aroma yeah. ecstasy. Like in just, they, they <laughs> describe the, every flavor of the food is just bursting in their mouth. And uh, like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Like I, I freaking love it. Like it's just oh, it's it's, amazing. It's it, everything that, uh, in my opinion, it's everything that a cooking show, like a real life cooking show, should be. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like, like just the the battles that they have, like in in the culinary world, is it's like it's is dope. Like they may they actually there's other there's other anime that do the same thing. Like they have an anime about um, basketball players. They got one about uh, tennis ping pong like they got uh baseball like the, everything you can think of there's an anime for it and food wars is just one of those is just it's amazing you should go watch it uh i'm waiting like i said i'm waiting on that one the next episode uh for food wars is august 8th so august the 8th uh food i'll wars. watching that one hey. and i'm still catching up on uh oh I'm still I'm caught up on everything. Um, kinda <laughs> waiting for the next season or waiting for the next episode. Uh, I mean, you name it, I'm pretty, probably watched it and <laughs> waiting. Um, um, right now, I'm just switching between my anime and Netflix, and which Netflix is adding new. Uh, they got new uh, animes coming to Netflix too which I start on Netflix and then I bounce over to the uh, my anime because Netflix don't have everything. They might put like a season or two on their, on Netflix, which because everything that goes on Netflix, no, not everything, but most of it, they do use the English dub, but some of them are uh, subtitled. So I'll jump over once I'm done with the English version I can't wait, so I go over to, and watch the subtitles. So, um, what is it? Also, it's kind of on the Crunchyroll side. It's still, if anybody watches Crunchyroll, there's there's 77 titles that are going to be taken off. Whoa! Uh, that they're they're taking off 77 titles just because of a uh, kind of like a licensing. Uh, Yep. There's a certain I can't name for I can't remember the name of the they they own the rights to it. So they that's they're taking those seventy seven titles. So if you if your favorite anime gets taken off of Crunchyroll, that's why. <laughs> so because there's seventy seven titles, that's a lot of titles. I mean, I, a lot. I went through. In other words, in other words go Google the list because now I'm gonna have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um it was something else i forgot it wasn't it wasn't a major thing uh about something else kakarot <laughs> oh well to, to add to your uh to your anime you said we were mentioning basketball a good basketball anime to watch is called haiku it's mm -hmm. a really good one uh, yeah or uh what's another one there's another one that i was watching too um Kuro's game or something like that. I can't remember. It's got a character um, 
one's got blue hair and it's like slicked down and the other one's got like red kind of spiky-ish hair as the cover. I think it's it's the character's name and then his basketball is the second part of the title. Hmm. Um, my, my sister I've, might know that one. I've seen that. I saw it on the listing, but I didn't watch, I haven't watched that one yet. That uh, one's, yeah, they're both pretty good. Yeah, there's, um, I'm still waiting on them to add more of the uh, Magi, uh, Legends of Sinbad. Uh, all the all of, they've been out for I don't know I don't know why they're, they're taking forever to load it up on the thing. Uh, I'm gonna have to bounce around and look for it because I want I can't wait I want to freaking see what next. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Impatient. <laughs> I so I am I was like I'll start watching I did that with Sword Art online too I uh, started watching Sword Art I can. I watched all the short art and I'm like, I need to know what happened. So I went, I look up the and I go watch the subtitle. I'm still waiting on this one anime about these four friends who they're like different types of nerds and then they go save the world and whatnot, one YouTube video at a time. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll come out later next year or two. Oh. I don't know. Kuro Kuroko's Basketball. That's what it's called. Kuroko's Basketball. Yeah, that was the name of the other one. Hmm. Wonder, I'm just sitting here trying to think of what the name of that nerd anime is. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't they how have a, to man. be nerds? No. Uh, I thought they had a slogan. Something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe Michael knows. I mean, he would be the one to ask. I mean, you know. It's probably Nerdo. <laughs> well, folks, that's all the time we got today. Yep. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's no way to talk to people. <laughs> no, no. Don't don't try to fix it. It's all not right. okay. Anyway, he is right. Uh, that is going to have to be our show for today. Uh, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, watching for the 20th episode um again go to youtube and like subscribe and comment so that we can get back to y'all in the comments i've been going through and uh liking and trying to there's an issue with youtube not i don't know why but i was trying to comment and it was just the loading thing just kept loading so yeah. if y'all are commenting you don't see us commenting back it's there it was an issue with the comment i am trying to comment we do see it, we do see it. <laughs> yeah uh Don't so go on there and like subscribe and comment for us uh hit the bell icon let us that way you'll be known whenever we do a video mm -hmm. uh but again thank you <laughs> and remember to get your own nerdo oh no, no, no. Just you know what? <laughs> we didn't even do the, no, We didn't even do everything properly. We're gonna see you next time. I'm the hammer. I'm Mingo D. Yoshi. Yeah, I'm your boy Snake. We will see y'all next week. Nerd Bye. Out. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me.